Sup gamers, Rainy Potato here, and welcome to this really stupid challenge. Uh, this is the no mastery, no items, no relics challenge. We literally cannot buy anything. We cannot uh, equip anything. We can't use any items. We cannot upgrade our skills. We just go as we are into the void. I don't know why I'm doing this challenge. I just felt like doing it. Uh, we're doing it on Act 1 because uh, that's we're just experimenting to see if I actually like the challenge and if it's possible, which I'm pretty sure it is. We're using a meta team. This is the last meta team you guys will see for a while because we're going back to random party, random path runs due to popular demand. Uh, so we got our man at arms. Uh, obviously, he's S tier class. Giga tank. He doesn't really need upgrades. Not having bolster upgraded is kind of sad. But otherwise, retribution is fine. Crush is okay. Especially on Vanguard. Uh, flag is another S tier. I chose Scourge. Uh, the Sepsis is a little weird, although with the Jester, the Sepsis is a bit better, even unupgraded. And the other upgrades aren't really that important for the Flagellant. This gives us another healer. Um, then I have the Jester, who's good all around, gives us combo, gives us another stress healer. We're doing movement Jester and bleed Jester because we cannot upgrade Encore and therefore cannot do the Encore solo finale build. So uh, that's their purpose. Uh, this also does not, I just realized this doesn't give combo unless it's upgraded. But we're also going to be doing Razor's Wood, obviously, because we're going to be moving. Then obviously Alchemist. Alchemist is a bit weaker not being able to use food, but is still an OPS tier, both healing and damage wise. So Act one, this should be relatively easy. This is also gonna be like a quasi speed run. Uh, I'm probably not doing this any lair bosses. Beautiful place once. We can honestly do the general, but like I said, we can't actually equip any items, so even doing fights is like pointless. I know this sounds dumb. The more I say this challenge, I just... Uh, we're going back to, like I said, we're making a transition back to random party, random paths. This felt like a good transition point. Do we want to blind somebody or do we want to just start murdering? All right, so if we blight here, then we get around one kill. I thought about resetting heroes for this challenge, but I was also like, oh, maybe. I don't know if this challenge is possible on other acts. It might be. But I decided to test it with this team just for funsies. So like I said, we cannot Are you spend any money, we can't spend there any mastery so points, we cannot equip any items, store. we cannot upgrade any skills. We're literally just speedrunning the boss and seeing if the base team... This isn't the base team, but... The next challenge would be to get like the base team there. And I'm not even sure... I'm, we can probably do it, like, because you can beat Act 1 on the base level, but you can't... In that case, you actually do stuff, right? So we can here. use the bounty hunter here if we would like. I actually don't see the point really. Maybe an act might be better in region two because we have to beat the uh, big boy. Watchtower scouted is actually really good. Mud and rain, resignation and death. Yep. This land is truly barren. Now, like I said, this is gonna be like a quasi speed run. I expect to be done in under an hour. Just some fun gaming. Uh, I also have another challenge for... We're going to start doing challenges in Act 1. Because obviously doing Act 1 by itself is boring. Is there no watchtower here? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay. 
Um, do I care about max loathing? We kind of do. So we'll go this path. Remember, since we can't actually get anything, we obviously just avoid fights. The loathing thing we can do is we can get quirks here. So if like the quirk option comes up, we will choose that. Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't even know who I want the negative quirk on. Deadly and blundering in crisis, is not ideal. Is Deadly's fine. Deadly's actually pretty good. This is what we like to see. All assistance encounters. That's all I want to see today. All assistance encounters. I don't know the current speedrun strats, but they're probably similar to this, right? Just equipping items is probably just a waste of time in Act 1. Yeah, I definitely want to fix our coach. That's something that actually has value. Remember, we cannot fix our coach at the uh, inn. So there's a good chance we uh, face urgent repair fights. Probably should have thought about that when I was going towards the uh, the tears. That'll be an that's an interesting thing there. Interesting thing to think about. And we still take this just for the light, right? Even if we have to turn this down. If this was an actual speedrun, it would also be faster to just accept all these things. Yeah, see, we're going to definitely have an urgent repair fight. If not this region, the next. Should have gone for the uh, extra loathing. 10% of the locks isn't that big. God, why do I come up with really dumb ideas? Triple fight's actually really good. We avoid a lot more... Um, we actually avoid more fights and tougher fights as well because they're urgent repair. Though decidedly inconvenient, I mean, we crush all road fights coming. because we don't have a... Uh, there's no collector in the pool, obviously. Oh yeah, we humiliate these clowns. Easy encore open for the rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Play Grenade is still OP, even unupgraded. You're not dead yet, so you have to be smashed in the face. You're dead. Then we punish you with vigor. Nice try. There are other challenges that I would enjoy, probably. Oh, uh, God. I had an idea for next week's uh, run, but I don't remember it now. Oh, halfway there. I would actually like to use that for uh, healing. Not that it matters much at all. 
And with the burn, we can use sepsis or we can use necrosis. Same thing, actually. Necrosis is just better. Yeah, I had an idea for next week's Act 1 run. But I can't remember it right now. I think it's written down somewhere. I've been having a lot of really dumb ideas. And then, like I said, we're going to be doing a random party, random path until the new update drops. New update drop is basically just small quality of life changes. Uh, new Act 3. So that's basically what we'll be doing. Spamming Act 3. And then... I don't think I've talked about this yet, but... I have been posting daily videos since September 29th of last year. So September 29th of next year, or of September 29th, I will be doing a special. I'll be doing a stream. Um, likely doing a like a long, long stream, a grand slam stream. It won't be quite 24 hours, but it'll be similar. Uh, you're going to double there, so we can actually Retribution here, since Widows aren't going at all. A slow dissection. And then I have other announcements of September. Um, This does not guarantee. This is more of a guarantee. I'm just going to take this, though. I do wonder if Act 2 is possible with, like, a Giga Meta Team. The problem is without upgrades, it's a bit hard. With, like, no upgrades whatsoever. So I'm a bit curious. even the greatest of threats. Bit curious of if that'll work. Would it be wild if I didn't get any urgent repair fights during this whole thing? The thing is, we can lower loathing, obviously, from fights. We just don't get any other rewards. And we can't fix the last one, unfortunate. One of these two. Again, we can't fix relationship either, so that is a concern. Having bad relationships going in to the end game. I suppose I could keep candles, but like I said, there's no point. God, what was that act one idea I had? It was so good and funny. Oh, baby. You're not dead yet. Which is a concern. Hopefully you don't guard anyone like a cheater. You do cheat. You cheat often. It's alright. We just smack here. We can't kill, unfortunately. Except with a 5 percenter. Probably just better to do this then. I guess the chance of killing maybe makes it worth it. And now we're going to get mortared. Guess getting mortared isn't that bad. You should die soon, right? Like early. Let's do this because nothing really matters. You have to die anyways. Not that anything really matters here. Only like two fights are scary here. Just 
do this in case we can get a speed roll here to heal. Forgot about blundering, but it doesn't matter. Too much gaming, too much gaming, too much gaming. The one pleasant in the extreme. See, is that all the Randy news we have? Stream September 29th. Um. I mean, we'll probably do a stream when the new update drops as well, even if it's not an important upgrade update. Don't know why you're going so slow. Paracelsus. Maybe you should try to be faster. Sure, first trumpet feels good. I mean, you're dead already, but we just need to keep going to kill here. Malaise. Measured and steady. All right, you're dead in two unless we can get a good speed roll, which we did get a speed roll. It's pretty good. Retribution is good. On guard is just so nice on a tank. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. I love the perma blind on everyone. Punished. We will continue to punish. Maybe blinding was still better. Uh, blinding is still better because you're going to get an action no matter what. Oh, you moron. God, why is your IQ so low, buddy? Hey, death of zone. Even if it's unnecessary. Yeah, the next step with this would be to run with like uh, something weird in Act 1 or like unusual suspect in Act 1. Would be good. Like running base. You could probably still just do it in base, right? Like a base team with the uh, unusual suspect. You could probably do it, right? Could you? I mean, we could face problems against the Act 1 boss, even with this team, probably, right? And blaze the trail to your redemption. So maybe not. The loathing whispers. That rules out a lot of Act 2 as well. Act two, uh, no mastery, no skills, no shops run. Act two especially would be brutal with uh, these fights. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. All right, recession. For the restless soul. It doesn't matter, but it also matters just because. Um, it matters. No relationships, Pog. I don't think anyone's in the negatives, right? They've nerfed affinity in just random encounters, so that makes it like that. All right, hospital is amazing. Into watchtower is good. And then we decide from there. Hospital also heals stress. If you hope to heal, you have chosen wisely. 
Obviously, the uh, wheel situation isn't good. We're going down to zero, but I think the watchtower is important. She heals the injuries of others while ignoring her. Like I said, I mean, we don't even have money, anyways, so. The destination is never in question. Only the route you take to get there. But like I said, we will inevitably have an urgent repair fight, right? Accurate insight, after all. Unless we get like assistance there and then we can move from there. Right side seems pretty good. Pretty free of any fight nodes, which cause pain and misery. This is pretty good. Oh, this is amazing. Triple studies. Chance we don't even get an urgent repair fight, which is wild. See if light stays up though. Going on this path. If we can recover, then actually, yeah. If we can recover one. If we can recover a wheel here, we can actually go a super safe path. A giga speed run path. The there we go. They're super unfriendly now, but one negative won't hurt anything, right? Oh, I remember now. Safe passage <laughs> along this stretch. A welcome reprieve. I had an idea for uh, one skill challenge or two skills. I haven't decided which yet. We did a three skills challenge a while back. That was pretty easy. That was like back last year, early access. Martyr, sure. The stress is a bit of a problem here. We are going to a hospital, so that's minus one. There's an argument for doing this fight here. So we don't hurt our light. Oh, that's huge. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. for the upcoming obstruction. It is indeed. This is a little more rewarding. That path. <coughs> this path, like I said, it reduced stress here, which is pretty important for us. Like we got a bolster into a thing. This doesn't even kill, does it? Sorry, you're dead in two. Should have probably paid more attention. Facing some attrition here. Kill. That was actually really bad to use two things there. That is fine. All of our stress is healed. Obviously blind. That was probably retribution there, actually. We're not quite close enough to kill. Obviously, we don't really care if you get hurt. So it's not really a big deal. 
me nothing here is a big deal. Even like the uh, big cultist fights aren't really a deal. Let it die. So we still don't get max uh, affinity, so that's good. Or max negative affinity, I guess. We'll fill up the light here, so. Place of research and inquiry. A monument to a once prestigious career. I mean, neither of these do anything. This is better because it's not. So we might go in with multiple negative relationships, which is kind of annoying. But otherwise. Otherwise, we're doing fine ish. Now the question is, are we going backline or frontline? Yeah, we'll get the plus 45 right from here. Interesting, we're not even like competitive in the uh, speed run. I guess we've been playing like, we obviously haven't been playing for the speed run. And in the speed run, you'd still take items. And you'd use a different team that's a little bit faster. You'd obviously use mastery. It still might be better than the time I have. Like, the speed runs are in the, like, mid-20s now, right? I believe. My time was, like, high 30s. But again, obviously, I didn't really try, even though... All right, at least you're back to normal. Still relatively fast, I think. Now, we probably won't quite get there without without mastery. We definitely won't fin finish the fight, right? In 10 minutes. This video is also going to bomb because it's so short. The watch time will be putrid. All right, we might actually kill here. No, probably not. Before your action, not quite. Not even close, really. You're dead next turn. You are not dead next turn, but we still just retribution. Want to draw. Could kill here with the double heal as well. Without you getting an action. I think I just want to push you. On to the next. I don't think you're, anything you do is dangerous, really. All right, that's annoying, I guess. Not particularly dangerous, though. And we don't even have to do anything. We can just get an easy stress heal. Doing well managing stress, actually. Considering... Are right, we definitely blind here? Because we're getting... We're getting a Death Torch, or we're getting Death's Door with this move no matter what we do. All right, that's kind of annoying. Ooh, the resist? All right, we're gaming. We are legally gaming. Yeah, about a 40 minute run. Spent time yakking what didn't do like optimizations or anything, but it wasn't a speed run. It was a 
It's an experiment, my friends. The heart calls out to the weary. An experiment. So much mastery did we the get? Fire is lit. The table we is only got set. three mastery the whole run. The its favorite guests. Bloodthirsty? Did that take away deadly? It did. Man, some weird stuff. So what do we have here? It's a 28%. And these are zeros because of Bon Vivant. And we got a 5%. So we've got a 5 and a 28. It's not too bad. All roads lead to the mountain, but only one leads beyond it. Oh, we have mastery points to spend? Gee, I didn't notice. So like, well, with, Al with Alchemist Man at Arms, getting stunned is less likely. Two, that's two people less likely to be stunned. Desire will never die. I don't remember flag stun resist. We can melt through, what is it, 200 some HP? At last, Surely. Temple of failure and regret. Yeah, we got 50, 30, 35, because you have a thing, and 60. Yeah, next is Unusual Suspects, probably. Fresh Profile. Surely it's possible, right? Well, you don't have Play Grenade. That hurts. And Encore has obviously been very helpful in melting. You don't have... The thing is, you don't have Paz. That's the issue. One of the issues at hand. So we're the try, probably. Anything's worth a try, right? No, Randy. Anything is not worth a try. I actually like knocking you back. Dude, why don't you ever get knocked back? Hello? All right, one more time to confirm the kill. All right, that hurts. That's a big problem. This is a big problem here. And we're about to be crit into oblivion. Got a rush here, right? Although you do have to heal, I believe. One more hit, we're good. And we have the speed. All right, you're officially dead. Let's see, you're already blind. We didn't quite get there, I don't think. Oh, we did. Okay. Never mind. Good blind. Good death. A simple kindness. Uh, I want to get the stress heal here. Days actually doesn't matter here. But oh well. Good crit. 
the unrelenting All right, we're in okay shape for the boss here. It'd be kind of sad if we lose one of these guys to a weird... There's a good chance we lose a character. I'm putting on incision just in case. We need to. We get like moved or shuffled or whatever and we have to do something from rank one. Everyone else is fine. I guess it'll depend what we see, but obviously physical is really important. Well, this is ranged, right? And then this is also, this is melee. So we got a good mix of abilities. Haven't decided which one I'll go first. Now that breach is ridiculous. Guess we go after melee first. Go after healing last, probably. This is actually good because we can use incision now. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that definitely lose. Yeah, that's why we definitely can't do this on like a fresh profile. Execution is probably good here. If I get stunned here, I'll be mad. Gaming. Right. Annoying. Probably should have done something that wasn't that. So we're doing literally nothing this turn between the stun and the nonsense. Fuck off. I can definitely see how noobs get mad at this fight. Of course, this is hard, far and away the worst I've ever done at this fight. Are we going to lose here? I do think they should limit. Yeah, very, very likely we die here. We got a deathless here, right? Why are we range lock again, dude? Yeah, we probably lose this fight, actually. Of course, we're perma weak, AO, perma a weak, blind and. Now this is definitely harder without a. Oh, a denial of fortitude is a GG. It's a GG moment. I think we have to punish here. We have to get a kill this round. We got a retribution here to preserve your life. Because if you die, we're dead, right? I mean, we're at like 90 DBR. Okay, game. Whatever you say. I mean, you're the closest to death. Do we have to kill you? This is so dumb. If we don't get very specifically targeted, which was a very weird targeting, then we probably do win that. Right. All right, interesting. So yeah, this was, I guess, uh, an acceptable challenge. Of course, the main problem with it being a challenge is there's no skill involved.
Yeah, this fight's definitely there's definitely a difference in this fight when it's like like this. The path of exculpation need not be a lonely one. Interesting, we can't land a debuff to save our life. Oh, you don't even have debuff resist? I mean, if we survive, like, DBR stuff, like, we've got, you know, basically 80 DBR across the board. Never punished. That might actually carry. I think Grizzly should get rid of weak, in my opinion. That'd be cool. This is kind of a problem. We're literally just killing ourselves here. Let's pass heal to play. This is self 10% damage, which is five, right? That gives us toxic, which is a slight heal. The day sucks, but what are you going to do? Good. Good avoid. Right, pretty decent RNG in this fight, except for the, of course, the one. The one case. Alright. Crush kills here. You're the closest to death, so we have to kill you first. A slow dissection. An Hopefully Deathless is available again. Because you're about to die, so... Solidarity it's our last Deathless anyways. I think we'll just barely make it. Interesting. The miss there is clutch because that could have actually killed. She retribution is probably better there. That plague doctor didn't have anything locked in, so it was actually kind of a bad plague doctor because they had all their memories. Slot already slotted in. Nice blind. Interesting. At last, right, I guess there's not really. Mind is free to remember it wasn't a fun run. The it's closed. interesting to know we can, but items do make an impact in that fight. And I definitely don't think I can do that on any other act. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Maybe Act 4 we could do it, but probably not. There's probably a team out there that can do it. Probably not in Act 4, actually. Because then you got, like, Exemplar and stuff. You got Lair Boss. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, like I said, tomorrow we go back to... Random party, random path. We travel through the incalculable dimensions and human we do that until the update, which is dropping this month. And then we do Act 3 stuff. Probably random party, random path. For the most part. And all in preparation for a future stream. Favorite toys insane. A fleeting impression. A flickering light. And of course, and then... Next week, probably do the random on Act 1. We're going to try and do random stuff on Act 1, not random party, random path. Because it's a little too easy, even with all layers. 
Uh, we'll do either two skills or one skills. If I can... I'm trying to decide if one skill is, like, a possible thing. It's it's probably possible. Especially when we are able to use items and stuff, right? Um, anyways. Thank you all for watching this very stupid run. Now you know you don't need items or money and welcome what help may come to win the run. So thank you all for watching and good night.